Hey everybody, this is Tara. Welcome to our space where that we come and hang out together. It is Wednesday, December 3rd, 2020, and I am going to embark on a bit of an experiment on using what I have. I've realized, and I think maybe this is just part of getting older, is that um, buying and buying and buying doesn't necessarily fulfill me, <laughs> which seems like it would be an obvious lesson. <laughs> um, but, uh, retail therapy worked when I was younger, like a teenager and in college. And now that I'm older, it just doesn't, um, I would prefer to actually have less stuff and the stuff that I do have is stuff that I would want to keep around. So I'm trying to live with a purpose or motto of um, living simply and loving generously. And I want to do that with my knitting as well. I want to keep what I have simple and pared down and to love generously and give my knitting to those around me and pass things forward. Um, but still knit for myself. <laughs> Let's just be honest. I will still knit for myself. So I'm going to move the camera over slightly so then you can see what we're working with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a rapid fire, quick go through, show you what I'm working with, um, just as a landmark so that I can document and see where I'm starting. So I have my pattern binders and what I've done is I have marked with pink sticky notes um, get my face out of the way and maybe it'll focus so I've marked with pink sticky notes the patterns that I've printed off but have not yet used and so I have I think seven patterns in my Andrea Mallory binder and then I have oh 12 or 13 in this binder. Okay, and then I've also marked my books, just the spine of them to figure out what have I knit from and what have I not knit from. I apologize for my children pounding on the door. <laughs> so, those are the patterns. Okay, now, I'm not gonna go into the actual specific patterns that I have. Like, we'll get to that in the future when I check in through, you know, what I'm knitting on. Okay, let's talk yarn. I'm gonna try and go through every yarn that I have up here quickly, concisely. We can see what we're working with, but we don't need to dwell or spend too much time on them. So inside this basket, this is where I keep projects that I'm working on, but are kind of not in timeout in a bad way, but in timeout meaning I've got to get some other stuff done really quick. So there's only one thing in here right now in this project bag, and this is the sweater I'm using with fisherman's wool. I'm making it up as I'm going. So this will help me use up yarn that I have, but not help me use patterns that I have printed off or purchased. So I've kind of come to the conclusion that I'm either going to be able to knock out uh, a pattern and pull off a sticky note from that pattern, or I'm gonna be able to use up yarn. And when I'm lucky, then I can do both at the same time, but it is okay and permissible for me to kind of have to just pick and choose where that goes. Inside this white tote that I have, it is primarily yarn that's been handed down. So let me show you what I'm working with. Let me pull these out very quickly. I have two skeins of burnout blanket yarn I have left over from the blanket that I made last Christmas. So I have these two skeins and then I have a third skein that's in my cabinet. I think these are gonna end up being hats and most likely I'm gonna end up giving them away, like donating them, passing them forward because I only have one head. So theoretically, I only need one hat. And right now I think I have two hats. 
So I have choice, it's not a big deal. And then I have the rest of this is leftovers or hand-me-downs um, from my aunt. So I have this, what used to be a pound. I need to weigh how much is here so then I can figure out how much yardage I have. Um, this is in the color taupe. And then I have two one pound skeins. Uh, this is in the color lace. And again, I need to, this one I don't think has ever been used. This one I think has been used, but I need to weigh and calculate how much yardage is there so then I can figure out what projects I can make from it. I think these would be really good for making dolls, but I don't have any doll patterns. So this might be a situation where maybe I'm gonna have to buy a pattern so I can use up some of the yarn or just suck it up and use it for a pattern that I already have. This would be an Aran weight. Well, worsted Aran. It could either go either way. I hesitate to make a garment with this because this is, you know, acrylic yarn can be heavy and so that garment can grow. But this could be really good for like a sweater, like a sweatshirty sweater to just wear around the house because it would be easy to clean. Uh, then I have three skein. Well, I have, I'd have to weigh. I mean, all this hand-me-down yarn, I would actually have to weigh in order to see how much is really there because I don't know what's been used and what hasn't. So I'm assuming two and I don't know if this is a full skein or not. This can't be a full skein. A partial skein. Uh, this is in the color Cafe Latte. So I have that too. And like I said, I can use it to make dolls, which I think would end up being really cute, but I don't know how much I enjoy making those kind of toys. Which that's me being selfish and I need to let that go because I think my girls would really like it. Okay, moving on to the cabinet. We're going to start on this side. There's no yarn down here. This is kind of just a catch all for different things. In fact, I can put something away right now while I'm thinking about it. Um, so this has no yarn. This has two sweaters in it that I use. One I use for sizing and the other one is going to be for an inspiration for a sweater that I want to make. So there's technically yarn in there, but not necessarily yarn for knitting. Um, in here, I do have yarn. So I'm going to empty this out quickly and then we'll talk about it as I put it back in. I have some leftover yarn. This ranges from Sport DK, Worsted, and I think this here, this darker gray one, you probably can't see because of the glare. So just go with me here. I think this is Aaron. Uh, maybe even bulky. So this kind of is a range. I normally use this as like waste yarn or scrap yarn to put, um, if I'm doing a tubular cast on or if I need to put sleeves on hold, I might grab from here. Um, except for this bright blue skein, this is kind of the sacred skein of yarn that I use to make the kids um, fancy hens. So that one, out of all of the yarns in this bag, that one is like, don't touch that. That's, that's the one that's precious. So in fact, what I should do whenever I have a chance, I should go back to Magpie Yarns here in Lexington and see if they have more skeins of that and buy maybe one or two extra skeins because I've mentioned this in the video where I talked about all my home knits, like my blankets and stuff, that I would like to keep that same blue yarn and use it in any fancy hens that I use for, like if we have a fourth baby or like when we have grandkids. And even though it might not mean anything to anybody else, but I really like, I like things like that. So that's something I would do. Um, I have my leftovers from my half and half triangles wrap. There's approximately 75 grams in each of these. So my intention is um, 
Like if I want to make another wrap but and use the red ball, then I only need to order one more skein of red and then two skeins of another color and I should still have enough of this to make that. So I can stretch this out pretty far if I keep making those wraps, which I am. That's going to be my always knitting kind of a thing. You know how some people always have like socks on the go? That wrap might be my like wrap on a go, even though it can get kind of large, but I don't mind. <laughs> anyway, um, then I have, this is my fingering leftovers that I've used in various projects and I have quite a bit of yarn left over. In fact, some of this yarn was used in my um, boxy sweater that I frogged. So now I have to find a new something for it. So this is gonna be like, I need to just be creative and play with it. I don't know, we'll see what happens with that. I can also use it in color work. I have quite a few fingering weight sweater patterns that have some color work in it. And all I would need to do, like I can use, I can pull from here for color work. And then all I would need to do is purchase some more fingering weight yarn for like a main color. Cause I don't have a main color quantity right now. Then I also have my lines brand Ferris wheel in pink marmalade. I used this in my first ghost horses. I also have this in blue, but I think it's downstairs cause I was going to make up a color work hat with those with the blue and a white yarn. So I have almost two full skeins with this. I would say this can work as DK or worsted. So I have those. And then I also have these two skeins of Yarn B Soft and Sleek DK. Two full skeins left over from my husband's sweater. I will just go ahead and say I won't buy this yarn again. I don't like low pill fiber. Um, I just don't like it. And you know what? I think sometimes it's okay to say, I just don't like it. And you don't have to explain why I just don't care for it, but I will use it. It's a DK weight is what it's marketed as obviously since it says DK, but I would say this is more like sport weight. I think it's more sport weight. I don't know. I think it depends on the kind of fabric you're wanting to create. You know, I don't know if that's closing all the way. Anyway, moving over to this section, I'll start at the top. Ugh. So I have, we'll start with what's inside my bag really quick. I have my yarn that I designate as my baby yarn. So it's in blues and I have a cream. And so those will be for baby knits. Here's that blanket yarn, the third skein that I have. I really like the, I don't know the color of it, but I really, this is my favorite one. Of the three leftovers that I have, this is my favorite one. So I don't know. I When I made my burnout blanket, I used, I purchased 10 skeins and I have three left over. So keep that in mind if you were gonna make that blanket. Um, so with three skeins, maybe I could make some kind of a baby blanket or just a really small throw. I don't know. I don't know, I have zero idea. I could make a pillow, so I don't know. I have some more leftovers. This was from my True Colors sweater. This was from The Weekender. I held this double with this to make a headband. I could make and probably make another headband with it. Um, but those are options that I have. It could also make a really cute bomb bomb. And then I also have this Bulky Weight Eco Wool. It's called Simply Wool Bulky Weight. Um, but it's eco, 100% eco wool from Knit Picks. I purchased this on purpose because I am going to knit some house socks with a pattern that I purchased from Fiber Tales Larka. 
Um, I have decided that those will be my first pair of socks. A bulky weight sounds like the perfect thing to make your first pair of socks on. Even though I can use those fingering weights that I have to make socks, I don't wanna make my first set of socks on like size one needles or size two needles. <laughs> I'm thinking bulky house socks sound perfect. And this feels very nice. I do like that eco wool. I kind of went down a bit of a rabbit hole of watching all of Larka's um, podcast videos and also watching Inga from Knitting Traditions. So now I'm like, well, give me all of the like rustic wooly things. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm giving up on acrylic yarn. It just means I'm just gonna kind of just play in everything. I'm just gonna love everything. Okay, last one, and then we'll be done with our first initial check-in. So inside, we'll do the pink bag first because there's one project in here ready to go. I even have, like, I even have the needles on the cables ready to go. This is fingering weight yarn from Cornbread and Honey. This was her Starry Night Fade, and what I've done is I've made several Wonder Balls and I'm going to hold this together with this blue mohair in, I think it's called Celestial from Knit Picks. I'm gonna hold them together and make um, a sew faded, but not really because I'm not fading it the way that is instructed in the pattern, just because I don't, I don't necessarily care for it, but I just think this would be a fun way to play. And plus I can use that sew faded pattern as a recipe of how to knit the sweater because Andrea Mowry has the exact same sweater pattern in one color. And then all she did was take, well, I am assuming that all she did was take that sweater pattern and introduce the fade concept as we know it now, at least from her. Ah! I caught it, don't worry. Okay, last bag in here, I have some DK weight yarns, um, but I don't have large quantities of each color. So I have some gray. Um, I would say this is DK for sure. Um, this was left over from a hat I made my brother last Christmas and I have a skein and easily a half left over. Cause I just bought, I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna make them, but I'm just gonna buy two skeins. And so I don't remember the name of it. I don't remember what it's made of. I know that I really like it. So there's a skein and a half. I realized I could make like, I could make socks. I could make mittens. I could make, there are some smaller items that I could make. I can make a headband. I could make a hat. Clearly it's not going to be a sweater. And what make, that's kind of where I struggle with because I want, I find the most joy in making sweaters. And so when I don't have a sweaters, a sweater, <laughs> when I don't have a sweaters quantity of yarn, I'm kind of like, oh man. <laughs> I realized what I could do is take everything that I keep in this bag and make a sweater with it, but I'm probably not going to. I have one skein of Gabriella Makes DK Weight in cello. This is soft. Mm, I like this. So again, this could be mittens. It could be a hat. It could be a headband. It could be, I don't know. And then I have two more skeins of her yarn, DK Weight in cider. I think think maybe I want to do Hohi Locatelli something in the air. It's a scarf, like an infinity scarf. And I, I think I remember correctly that it's made with DK weight. And I've had that pattern for a year. It was one of the very first patterns I ever purchased because I thought it was so beautiful. So that's, this might become one of those. That's my plan right now. And like I said, I am under no pressure to keep what I make. In fact, I anticipate on actually most of what I'm making, I would like it to be given to others. 
because I've had this discussion with some family and friends that me giving something is not a loss for me. I still possess the ability and knowledge of techniques to make those items. I, that's the great thing about learning and education. You cannot have that taken away from you, theoretically, right? I mean, I'm using those skills very regularly and I'm not losing them. If anything, I'm slowly but surely trying to get better and better. So my education and knitting knowledge is still there. So I don't lose out on anything. Giving gives me more joy. So this is the beginning of December, 2020. This is where we're starting and we'll see where it goes from here. <laughs>